Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video just to cover something that's kind of funky. Now, this is a Here for GPS. I actually just used one of these in the Ardu Pilot build. I made a, a He Wing T2 Cruiser and put um, a Q bar engine in it along with things like uh, a Here 4 and wanted a professional platform. However, playing with that, one of the things that you can do with a Here 4 is you can actually turn it into a flight controller. Yep, yeah, you heard that right. So you may have noticed when I was doing the unpacking of that build, that inside the box with all the pieces, there were these two extra bits. There was this extra big cable that came with the Here 4. And there was also this board here. And I know I, when I first saw it, think what the heck was that doing in the middle of a Here 4 box? Well, the Here 4, is actually quite a clever piece of kit. Now, normally when you connect the GPS to something like a, a Cube Pilot Cube, uh, you stick it into the CAM port. This actually is um, a HERE 3 that I've got plugged in here, but the HERE 4 tends to have these kind of cables on by default. It has two connectors and you plug one of those in, into the CAM port and you configure it as normal. However, the HERE 4 is a very sophisticated piece of kit, and most of the modern stuff that's coming out now, particularly parts of the Cube Pilot system, run something called AP Perif. And to run AP Perif, they have to have a certain amount of intelligence. And in the case of the HERE 4, there's enough intelligence, not only for it to be a GPS and a compass, but in here is also a single IMU isn't vibration isolated or any of that but it means there's a processor there's memory there's a gps there's a compass there's imu that's a flight controller isn't it yeah it, it actually is so if you get that other cable and you crack the case and you plug it into the two ports inside the here four and you plug the other ends of that cable into this little breakout board which was the other part then what we have here now is we actually have a flight controller. Yep. It only has a couple of things on here, and this is one of the limitations of it at the moment. We have one kind of UART, we have a couple of CAN connectors, we have the connections coming down from the here four, we have a load of PWM pins, which is great to connect stuff to, and then we have two power connections. So how do you take a here four if you wanted to try this? from being a GPS to being something like a little flight controller in its own right. Well, it's actually not too tricky. It actually covers it here in the Qpilot org documentation. And there's a couple of different steps. The first thing is you have to connect the here for to a cube so that you can talk to it over CAN and then basically set it so that the boot flash bootloader parameter is set to one. Again, it's a little picture here of what that actually looks like. Once you've got that set, then you can actually connect to, to it and flash it just like any other flight controller really. Now the way you need to do that, and this is slightly complicated because there's no USB port, and who knows, maybe the HERE 5 will have a USB port if enough people are interested in doing this. The way that I've got it set up here, and I need to say a massive thank you at this point for indulging me with this. Um, the Ben and the team up at 3DXR, I'm gonna put a link down below, give me this stuff to kind of play with because I wanted to try it out. This is a Radio Master connector. This is the one that they have that allows you to flash express LRS receivers and other bits and pieces. This is basically a modern FTDI adapter. It's incredibly powerful. It has a USB port at the end. And what I've done is connected it to the pins here on the breakout board. So the only things I've got connected at the moment, we have the power, because we'll power it in a second. It will power from the USB, but I don't like pulling that much current from the USB port on my computer. Um, and what we have here, the black and red connections are going to the black and red um, at the, on the end of the port. You can actually see the pinouts here in the diagram, so that makes it a little bit easier. And then in this particular instance, the white cable eventually connects to the yellow cable that goes into the port and the last one 
which is the green cable connects into the blue cable that goes into the port. Basically transmit to receive, to re receive to transmit. You've seen that a million times. Once you've got that done, then you can actually connect to it via mission planner. Let me power it up. You'll see the GPS will do something weird because this is actually already flashed with Arduino Pilot. And then once it's flashed, it'll immediately jump into its two flash default stuff. And then I can plug a USB cable into the Radio Master FGDI adapter. And then basically, I'm talking to it as though it was any other kind of Ardu Pilot flight controller. And here on the computer, I can click Connect. The only thing just to be aware of, the COM port will appear as it would normal. Uh, select 57600 as the speed so you can talk to it. Click on Connect. It says Mavlink Connecting. It'll download all the settings. Tell me there's a new firmware available for plane. Let me just get rid of that. And as I move this, you can see that it's actually working as a flight controller. Now, would you really use this in anger? No, probably not. Um, there is potentially a way you could do it if you could figure out a way around. You know, we we have very limited inputs and outputs here, so you only really have an input for if you wanted to run Express LRS or something like that. You kind of have one connection. Maybe you would use that for something like um, a telemetry radio or something else. And you have the two CAN connections here as well, which means it's quite limited, but you have lots of PWM connections. Um, maybe there'll be different boards that will come out that will do different things. But I just wanted to kind of show you this. This is this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, GPSs in Cube Pilot land are actually intelligent enough to be a flight controller in their own right. It's a really interesting idea that maybe in the future, the GPS could have a port at the side and have a either a breakout board like this that would have all the ports on it so that it was even easier to put into place so it was almost like one little black box with the gps and everything inside i'll put a link below to both the 3dxr shop go and check that out for all of your professional building needs i'll also put a link to that page that we just looked at so if you want to have a little bit more of a read about this you absolutely can Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payment360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.